In this video, we're going to look at sequences and whenever you've got to solve uh, questions involving patterns. So here's a typical question. It says, here are some patterns made from gray tiles. So we've got a gray tile, gray tile, gray tile, gray tile, and a white tile in the middle. Well, I think it's a white tile. It just says gray tiles there. Uh, pattern two, gray, 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 white, white, and so on. It then says, draw a pattern number four on the grid. So that would be gray, 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 and so on. And it would look, so at the minute that's pattern two. That's now pattern three, as you can see. We've got one, two, three gray, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And notice each time we're adding, we've gone from one and then two and then three on the top row. So this one needs four on the top row. So let's add another one on the top row. This one had two in the middle row. This one had three in the middle row. This one had four in the middle row. So this one's gonna have five in the middle row. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna have another one on the bottom row. So like this. So that's our pattern. It would look something like that. The question says, how many gray tiles are needed in pattern number 10? So in pattern number one, we've got four gray tiles. In pattern number two, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In pattern number three, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as you can see, each time we're adding on number three, so that would be 13 and so on. So to get pattern number 10, the quick, quickest and easiest way to do it would just be to carry on the sequence. So add on another three, 16. Add on another three, 19. Add on another three, 22. Let's just check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, add on another three, 25, another three, 28. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one more would be, uh, no, add on another three would be 31. So in pattern number 10, there would be 31 gray tiles. Another way to do it would be to work out the nth term. And if you wanted to work out the nth term, we'll do that later, okay? Jenny says, I need exactly 46 gray tiles for pattern number 18. It says, is Jenny right? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, well, when we look at the numbers, we've got four, seven, 10, 13, and so on. To get pattern number 18, one way to do it would be to times by, uh, to carry on the sequence in over eight terms. So carrying on the sequence, and let's just do that quickly. So that's the 10th. So the 11th would be for that. 12th would be that. Uh, 13th would be that. 14th would be that. 15th would be that. 16th that, 17th that, 18th that. So altogether there would be 55. Now she said she needed 46, okay? So we know that's gonna be wrong. Okay, the next question then said, finally, so it says, explain how, is Jenny right? Well, you could just carry on the sequence for 18 numbers and check. It's very important that whenever you're doing adding the numbers that you, you're very careful each time. So we start off with four, add three, add three, add three, and so on the whole way up. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 numbers. Okay, now that's quite an uh, inefficient way of doing it. Let's actually look at the next part of the question. It then says, write an expression for the number of gray tiles in the nth term. In other words, work out the nth term for the sequence. And the sequence went four, seven, 10. Now, before you carry on, I'd recommend you watch the video on the nth term. Um, if you're confident with the nth term, let's just work it out. So it goes up by three and goes up by three. So let's write three times tables, three, six, nine, and let's write three N because it's the three times tables. To get from three to four, you add one. From six to seven, you add one. So the nth term is three N plus one. That's the nth term. So that's how many gray tiles there would be in the nth term. Now let's just check our answers from before. We wanted to know how many uh, gray tiles were in pattern number 10. Well, pattern number 10, you would do three times N, three times 10 is 30, plus one, 31. And that's what's there, 31. The next one then says in pattern number 18. So let's do the 18th term. So that's three times 18. Well, three times 18 is equal to 54, 
plus one would be 55. And that was the answer we had as well for pattern number 18 was 55. Okay, let's have a look at uh, one more question. And this time it says, here is part of a sequence of patterns made from sticks. So it could be matchsticks or something like that. And as you can see, each time we're adding on another rectangle and another diagonal line. So we start off with one rectangle and one diagonal line, two rectangles and two diagonal lines and so on. It says in the space, draw pattern number four. Now I'm gonna draw this very quickly, okay? Um, it's not gonna be very good, okay? So that's one. Oh, sorry, let's do it properly. So that's pattern number one. Pattern number two, we add it on another section like that. Pattern number three, another section like that. So that's pattern three. And pattern number four would look something like that. Okay, it then says uh, complete the, the table. And then it says complete the table, okay? So let's have a look at the table. We've got five in pattern number one, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five, yep. Yeah. Pattern number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that makes sense because we've added on one, two, three, four, and we're adding on four each time. So that would be 17 and that would be 21. The next question says, work out how many sticks there would be in pattern number eight. Well, it went 5, 9, 13, 17, 21. Well, we need to carry on this sequence. So let's carry on the sequence. So it went 5, 9, 13, 17, 21. That's five uh, t uh, terms. So it's then going to go 25, 29, 33. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in pattern number 8, there's 33 matchsticks. Josh has 100 sticks. He says he can make a pattern in the sequence using all the sticks. In other words, he can use all 100 sticks and not have any left over. It says, is he correct? Well, let's actually have a look at these numbers in the sequence. Five, nine, 13, 17, 21. All these numbers in the sequence are odd. He's got 100 sticks. So that means that he can only make, well, he's, it says he can use all of them. So he'd have to use 100 sticks. That's an even number. And we know that 100 won't be in the sequence. So is he correct? No. And the reason is, you'd give a reason along those lines. The fact that, you know, he's got 100 sticks, that's an even number, and all the numbers in the sequence are odd.